What is going on, Jeff fans? Matt O'Leary back with another video. Today, I want to talk about consensus mock draft. So what does that mean? I'm talking about who is the most likely player to go to a team and how often does that actually come true? That's what I want to get into today as we are inching closer to the NFL draft in 2024. So right now, the consensus mock drafts, more often than not, Brock Bowers is the pick to the New York Jets in 64% of mocks, according to Mock Draft Database. Brock Bowers and Amarius Mims had a little bit of a pro day yesterday uh, at Georgia, and Ron Middleton, the Jets tight end coach, was there. So uh, that's the first thing they did with Brock Bowers. He wasn't able to work out at the NFL Combine, and they did not meet with him at the NFL Combine. So this was the first look up close that they got at Bowers. I'm sure they've watched a ton of tape on Brock Bowers, but this was the first look that they went up uh, and saw him in person for that workout. And what I wanted to do was take a look at a really good article from Jet X Factor. Uh, Michael Nania writes the article on the consensus mock drafts. Who was the player that was the one who is mocked to the Jets the most each year? And did the Jets actually take that player and there's a few examples where yes that was the case and then there's some examples of that not being the case so let's pull it up uh in the last year's mock draft it was darnell wright out of tennessee who is most mocked to the jets at 24 percent. so not a crazy high number by the way at 24 percent um, Wright ended up going pick number 10 to the Chicago Bears, and he was great for them last year. New York Jets draft Will McDonald. In 2022, it was Jamison Williams at pick number 10, 24% of the time. Uh, and Williams would end up going number 12. The Jets instead take Garrett Wilson. Was I, Believe me, I was very happy with the Garrett Wilson pick, and I'm glad that they took Garrett over Jamison Williams right now. Uh, in 2022, you also had Kayvon Thibodeau, who was mocked to the Jets 29% of the time at pick number four. Thibodeau was on the board, but the Jets ended up going with Sauce Gardner at pick number four. Safe to say those two picks in the top 10 have worked out very, very nicely for the New York Jets. Here we go. Your first hit of the evening. Zach Wilson was mocked to the Jets in 98% of mock drafts uh, at number two overall in 2021. And that's what ended up happening for the Jets that year. Uh, and 2020 was Makai Becton at pick number 11 in 34% of mocks that ended up happening. And 2019, Quinn and Williams in 40% of mock drafts. So those are your three examples of the consensus being right. It was 2019, 20, and 2021. Uh, Quinn and Williams ended up being a massive hit. That was a very good pick. Uh, unfortunately, Makai Becton not getting a second contract does not have a contract yet. Uh, in the NFL right now, and Zach Wilson, well, we know how that one went, unfortunately, uh, but those were the three examples there. Baker Mayfield, 47%. He ends up going number one overall. Mitch Trubisky, 16%. He ends up going number two, and the Jets take Jamal. And then in 2016, Paxton Lynch, 40%. Glad they didn't end up with that one. Uh, and the Jets ended up taking Darren Lee, so it's not like they did all that much better in that one, but... Uh, I just kind of wanted to go through and look at who the consensus guys were over the years and memory served correct. Like, you know, especially over the last few years, I feel like Thibodeau was a very popular one for the Jets. That's the direction that I thought they were going to go that year. And that I would have, you know, at the time would have liked them to go. I wanted the edge and wide receiver. They end up getting sauce, the wide receiver and then edge anyway, because of a trade, it, it works out. That one was great. Um, Darnell Wright and last year's, I kept mocking offensive linemen to the New York Jets for for good reason, whether it was Broderick Jones or Darnell Wright. were probably the two guys, especially after the Jets moved down a couple of spots to pick number 15. Those were the two guys that I kept putting to the New York Jets, and Will McDonald was not on anyone's draft board. I would love to see the percentage of people that mocked Will McDonald to the New York Jets at pick number 15. I can't imagine it was very high. So on draft night, will we see Brock Bauer's name called at pick number 10? That is the question. Uh, it's certainly 
on the table. I, I think it is something that is in play for the New York Jets. Uh, they have a ton of options that we've discussed at length over the last few months. They could stick and pick and take a guy like Brock Bowers. They could see if someone maybe like Romo Dunze falls to them at pick number 10. We've talked to trade up scenario where they could jump up a couple of spots or jump up to like five with the Chargers and go all in for like a Malik Neighbors or something like that. Uh, you could also trade back and in your trade back targets, you have guys like Troy Fatanu. Uh, you also have uh, Brian Thomas Jr., names like that. Uh, so there are tons of options. And then staying put and Brock Bowers is, is a popular choice. A lot of people really like Brock Bowers. I would be excited if the Jets added him to this offense. I think it'd be fun. He's a weapon. You could line him up all over your offense and it doesn't stop you from putting Tyler Conklin on the field. You could have both guys on the football field. If anything, it kind of just put, pushes Alan Lazard down the depth chart a little bit more. So that's going to do it for me in this video. Let me know your thoughts down below. Subscribe if you're new. Give a like before you go. And I'll catch you next time.